Hi, wondering, sorry. do you feel like best new artist? No. <laughs> I don't. I, I honestly, I mean, I know it sounds really cliche, like I didn't expect this, but I, like, I'm such a huge fan of all the other artists that were nominated, so I, like, I would have been just as happy if they, if they won. I mean, look, there are just so many people making great stuff right now, so I don't feel like the best, but, th th and this doesn't mean I'm the best either, but it's a really crazy accomplishment either way. I'm also interested in the new part of that as well. Oh, new. Well, I mean, it just doesn't, none of this feels real, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't even know what to say. It doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like I'm here. It's pro I probably won't process this for another, like, seven years or something. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, hello. Hi. Hi. Juan Carlos Garcia from Mexico. Hi. Uh, are you working in something new? Can you tell us? Or what are you doing now? Yeah, so I'm working on a new album right now. Um, I'm not sure when it'll be out. It's almost done. I've been writing it for a while. Uh, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm proud of it, and it's, it's really honest and all of that good stuff. So Any yeah. advanced collaborations, something like that? Um, not right now. I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe. We'll see. Thank you. Could you uh, address, you mentioned everyone deserves the same shot. Yes. Could you uh, kind of elaborate on that? What um, yeah, well, of course, I meant, I mean, in regards to uh, the music industry, I think there's some really, really awesome artists that have started amazing trends and that are doing such incredible things, but don't get the same shot or the same acknowledgement because they're not particularly mainstream or they're not on the charts. And I think it's important that everyone deserves the same shot and everyone should get one of these and be acknowledged um, for the amazing work that they do, and, and not everyone does. So, and of course, just in regards to the world, I think, you know, it's very unequal and uneven and Everyone deserves the same shot at life and success, so, yeah. Thanks. Alessia. Hi. Hi. Good to uh, see you. Good to see you as well. A lot of great pop music had came out of the uh, greater Toronto area yeah. prior to you releasing an album and, and coming out, but what do you think this means now for other aspiring artists in the GTA that you've taken on this Grammy? Um, well, I mean, I hope people can see it as some doors opening for them. And I mean, I know when I was coming out of Brampton, I just didn't think I would ever make it here. You know, you just think, oh, it's never going to happen. So I hope that people can see that no matter where you're from, it's, it's totally possible. For sure. Has the uh, success of Stay and this album influenced your new music that you're working on or no? Um, I mean, I don't think particularly Stay, like, sonically, because I wouldn't have been that bold on my own stuff, like, you know, to do that whole dance thing. But it's definitely inspired me to let go and just try new things for sure. Yeah. Congrats. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, I've always loved Alanis Morissette, of course, Nelly Furtado, who actually used to be managed by my manager, which is cool, fun little fact. Um, yeah, those are the females, for sure, and then, of course, Drake and all those cool Toronto guys. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, so, yeah, the White Rose. Um, I think for me, it just means speaking up for not only women in the entertainment industry, of course, that, you know, are treated unequally, but just women who don't have a voice um, that, and that aren't as lucky uh, to have a platform like I am and just, you know, stating the obvious, stating the fact that things are uneven and unequal and they, they need to be talked about and need to be changed. So, yeah, thanks. Alicia, congratulations. We all know Thank what it's you. like to dream, right? Yes. Uh, Music Connection podcast congratulates you. When you were a kid doing fake acceptance speeches for the <laughs> Grammys, yeah. right? Yeah. Did you imagine it? What, did you just happen? No. Because I, I, I would just like thank like non-existent people for non-existent music and stuff. So sure. I just didn't, I didn't think I would, I mean, I, I obviously wasn't as nervous as I was like in my shower. I was definitely more calm and collected as a kid in my shower. But um, yeah, I, I just didn't expect any of this. I know that sounds really cheesy and dumb to say, but it's true. Like you don't, you don't really think it'll happen to you as much as you hope it would, so right. yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you guys. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.